Howdy everyone, I see Mike here, and welcome to Anna's Quest. Uh, a while ago for the channel, I bought a whole bunch of games, and I had full intentions to play them, and uh, it, let's just say it took me a little while to get around to them, but I'm getting to them now. First up on the list is this one here, and it looks like a... Anna! Like a... Anna! Old! <sighs> there you are. Anna. It's already growing dark. Girl's dead inside. You know how I feel about you being out at night. Grandpa, I'm fine. I was just finishing the chores around the farm. Oh, my dear. You needn't do so much. Come inside. Rest. It's fine, Grandpa. I like helping out around the house. I'm not so little anymore, you know? <sighs> yes. Quite right. Quite right. And I was thinking... Well, maybe, maybe next week, instead of you, I can go sell our crops in the village? No. No. That is for me, and me alone. Yeah, I've got I'm too many sorry, strippers dear, there to, to let you go. The I gotta go pick up a hooker. Out there. Promise me, you won't ever venture out into those woods. Oh, I will I, immediately do that, Grandpa. I promise. Good. Good. And when I do go... You must always remember, however near or far we may be. In our hearts, we carry our family. Aww. This is a tale that began in a number of places, as many often do. It began once with two sisters in a faraway school where children were cruel and misunderstood all the same. Today, however, it begins in a deep, dark wood, where a very special girl indeed was about to begin a long and perilous journey. ...to venture far. One night, however, the grandfather grew suddenly ill, yet he insisted Anna promise not to enter those woods. Her love for him was so strong that she could not, and at once set out on her ill-fated quest for a cure. The brave girl traveled cautiously into those woods, wary of all the stories her grandfather had told her. Careful as she was, however, a wicked old witch, filled with the most evil of intent, followed her from dark and foggy shadow. The old woman snatched the girl away, and in the darkest corner of those cursed woods, she locked her in a great tower. The witch, you see, had plans Your for the grandpa girl. owes me but money! The girl had an yeah. unwavering determination to save her beloved grandpa. Why was grandpa in quotations? Like it's not her grandpa? Peculiar. I would say peculiar. Little experiment, you say? <laughs> oh, Grandpa, what have I gotten myself into? Sorry, guys. My bad. I'd have listened to you then. No, I can't think like that. Grandpa needs me. I have to find a way to help him. That's it. I don't know how I'll do it, but no matter what, I have to find an escape. Anna. Ah! Did you say something before? Who were you talking to? Oh, uh, just talking to myself, I guess. Hmm. Well, stop it. It's weird. And come closer. I've told you a thousand times I can't hear you properly over there. Um, yeah, I guess. Guess what? So, welcome to the tutorial. The tutorial will explain how to play the game. Press the chalkboard icon at the top right of the corner to show the tutorial tutorial messages again. Anna was asked to come closer. By clicking any spot on the ground, you can move Anna to the new position. Go ahead and give it a try. Alright, click. So, Anna, how are 
are you this evening? Eh, I'd say about a four. Is this a trick question? You never care about how I am. That's nice. Now listen carefully. The time has finally come for your experiment. Ah, uh, exercise. Yes, exercise. Danger, danger. Exercise? See your nice red chair over there? I need you to go on and sit in it. Um, what exactly is this exercise? Just do as I say. Uh, <coughs> that is to say, come along, dear. Nothing to be afraid of. Be a good girl and sit in the chair now. Hmm? the old raping chair. I, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing a game with this little girl, not, not playing a game with this little girl, don't take that out of context. I'm playing this game about a small child trying to save her grandfather, and I just said the raping chair. So this is clearly not for kids, although this is for kids. Whatever. Uh, next task is to sit in the chair, accomplish it by clicking directly on the chair object, in earn rack command. Pretty much I'm playing these solely for Cyborg, because I know she's going to play through this. Love you, babe. And uh, I know she's going to watch this and be like, oh yeah, this will be fun. Good. Very good. Maybe she's All just right. a hairstylist, because that looks like one of those now, things. Rips out her brain. She just now, dies. Pop up, Anna. Quickly now. So tell me, do you feel different? Somehow different in your head, perhaps? Actually, yeah, I kind of do. I feel kind of, kind of, kind of sick and dizzy. Those lights were really intense. <sighs> Curse you, child. That should have brought out your powers. Um... Do you mean, like, pat my head and rub my tummy? It's pretty tricky, but I wouldn't call it a power. Your telekinesis. Show it to me. You've lost me. You've lost me. No, I, I know you have it. I've seen it. If he has it, then you must have it. I'm sorry, I really don't know what you mean. I don't have any powers. Hmm. This may be harder than I first thought. All right, all right. Go and pick up your spoon. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm not really that hungry. No, not to eat. Pick it up. Hold it out. And then think about nothing except the spoon bending. Well, come on, child. This seems rather silly, but I think the witch's patience is running out. I better just do as she says. Pick up the spoon, find it first. Do you need help uh, to help you find it? Blah, 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 blah. To press and hold them. Wait, what? To help. You with finding interesting objects, you can show hotspot markers over the interactive objects and characters. Press and hold the mouse wheel or something. Oh, well, that's that's this is this is like this is like you know, baby's first. Uh, you should look at objects before picking them up. Right click on the soup spoon to use the look command. This works with just her. looking at it reminds me of the gunk the witch fed me Blech. cooking is obviously not one of the witch's specialties the uh, baby's first point and click adventure um which i'm not gonna lie i'm already kind of invested uh every item you pick up is stored in your inventory open inventory uh, by scrolling mouse wheel and pressing i all right, just scrolled. Okay. Anna has a special ability, a telekinesis. I thought she just said she couldn't do that. Hmm. If I threw something at the camera, 
It could bump it and stop her spying on me. And the old witch would surely come up here in a rage. No, not yet. Concentrate on bending the spoon. All right, then. Here goes nothing. Mm. Why is it always I a spoon, don't people bend? believe it. What? What did you say? What happened? I... bent the spoon? I bent the spoon? Wow! Come closer, child. I can't hear you. It worked! It actually worked! I bent the spoon! Show it to me. Hold it up to the camera. I mean, I probably could have figured this out on See? my own. Look! I really did it! Yes. Yes. <laughs> Finally, it's mine. All mine. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, but I still have so many things to do. So many things to prepare. Anna, don't go anywhere. But there isn't anywhere to go. Yes, good girl, good girl. Oh, <laughs> the day has come at last. I can't help but feel a little uneasy about this. Whatever the witch is planning, it can't be good. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Did... did he just... No, he couldn't have. Um, hello? Is someone there? Uh, hello? Ah! Ah! <laughs> you can hear me? What is this? You can hear me. Oh boy, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to talk or not. Wow, that sure is a big relief. Is this another one of your tricks, witch? Anna? Oh no, shh. Anna, you gotta be quiet. Anna, who are you talking to? Oh no, oh no, what have I done? This is bad. I, I was talking to, oh, no one, just myself. Again, Anna, really? I wish you'd quit doing that already. You're distracting me. Can't be rather distracting when you're simply talking to yourself constantly. Hello? Who Isn't that such a distraction? Are you? Oh, I'm. I'm. Mm, I'm. I'm a bear. No, oh, wait. That's not right. Ben. Ben. Burn. Burshin. Oh wait. Yes. It's Ben. It's Ben. Wow. I remember. Oh, sorry, guys. I was just trying to turn up my volume just a bit. Sorry oh, about yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Everything Actually. from before. Sorry. Sorry. This. What did you mean, not always like this? Oh, I'm really like you, Anna. You're a girl? No, yuck. I'm not a girl. Gross. I'm a boy. Well, I was a boy. When that old woman first brought me here. What the hell am I playing? <laughs> this isn't happening. What isn't happening, Anna? This. Me talking to you. Isn't it? I'm not sure. I suppose it is. I I think it is, Anna. So the witch, she did this to you? Turned you into a teddy bear uh-huh i i i think something went wrong she screamed and said witchcraft was stupid and and i was so scared so i just sat here and tried to stay as still and quiet as possible gee ben that's awful i'm sorry how long have you been here for oh i'm I'm not really sure, but it sure feels like a long time. A very, very long time. 
I tell you, I was so happy when you came, Anna. Finally, a friend. Are you... Did you say you're gonna escape? Shh, not so loud. What were you getting so worried about before? Oh, Anna, this is bad. Why? What is she planning? Well, I'm not sure, but it's bad. It's very bad. Just look at what she's done to me. And with that power of yours, she wants to take it from you somehow. I'm sure of it. It's okay, Ben. I'm going to escape. Well, we're going to escape. I'll take you with me. <gasps> I knew it, Anna. I knew it. Oh, but, um, how are we going to escape, Anna? I'm not sure yet. I'm starting to think, though, this power of mine. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's amazing. You are so clever. Yes, well, I guess I can bend spoons now, but it doesn't seem strong enough to do anything useful. If I could try that machine again, maybe I can make it stronger and... Oh no, Anna, you can't. It's too dangerous. It's all covered in cables and lights and, and, and machine things. Okay, okay. Let me think about this. That blue light in the headgear thing that's what seemed to bring this telekinesis out. So then, perhaps there's a way of removing that from the rest of the machine, or perhaps there's a way of controlling it from in here? Oh, Anna, you really are so smart. Uh, but, um, how are you gonna do that, Anna? I'll figure it out. I'm going to keep looking for a way out. Oh, this is so exciting! Okay, so... This is- I'm actually getting really invested in this. Like, I'm, I'm cracking on it, but, like, I'm actually kind of interested. I'll just take a crayon, I think. Hmm. And some paint, too. I like paint. It's yellow. Oh, there's something written on the side here. Non-toxic. Made from paraffin, wax, and pigment. It's yellow. If I threw something at the, the old witch... He is very cute, but I... He is very... Locked. It's not bedtime. It's escaping time. No, not yet. What a sad looking thing. All flat and lumpy. I barely get any sleep lumpy. on it. A rubber ball. If I threw something at the king, the old witch would sh I can never tell when the witch is or so, so creepy. No, they're stuck. But wow, do they feel soft and smooth. So soft. I'm not sure what they're made of. Even if I did break the window open, it's still a long, long way down. I think I'll try getting through the door first. Locked. The witch keeps it locked. Always. Right, let's see. Most of these things here are just lights, but on the bottom half, there seems to be more buttons and controls kind of stuff. They're protected by some kind of cover, though. Hmm, that means the witch didn't want me using them. I'm taking this as a good sign. On the bottom half, there seems to be more buttons and controls kind of stuff, but I can't get to them with this cover on. Hmm. All right, that was fun. Back to escaping <laughs> now. Uh, but yeah, let me take a moment to say this: this game is charming. Uh, I like the voice acting and everything. I, I'm, I'm liking. I'm, I'm vibing with what they're laying down. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. That's a very, very shiny horn you have there, Mister Unicorn. And, very, thank uh, you. I suppose I could cut off his horn if I wanted to. 
<laughs> it's another kid. In fact, buy an item's in inventory by using them out on each other. Click the inventory, open scissors, and use the ball. Huh. Yeah, that could... What would I be doing? Now I have a perfect half circle of rubber... thing. Why, though? Put it on your head. Put it on your head. Okay, she doesn't want to do anything with it. Uh, let's use the scissors again. Unicorn? I'm sorry, Mr. Unicorn. Close your eyes now. Oh god, no! Ooh, see? That wasn't so bad. I just heard a whinny from that thing. Oh, Mr. Unicorn. I'm honestly really, really sorry. But I just have to do this one last thing. Oh dear. I hope this stuffing was worth it. Poor, poor Mr. Unicorn. I'll preface this right now. I don't think this game's going to suddenly take a, like, brand bow style dark turn or anything like that. Although I do know they came out with, was it, Miss Little Misfortune or something like that? Um, so I might try that because that definitely has much darker theme. But for now, this is a little more cutesy, you know. Still not for kids, though. Fuck that. But, you know, uh... <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Nope. Still locked. Jeez. It's stronger than it appears. Hmm. Aha! This might be pointy enough to get under the cover and pry it off. Let's see. Ah! Mr. Unicorn's horn! It got all bent and broken. Guess I don't really need it anymore. Okay. Let's see here. Buttons, buttons, buttons. None of them seem to have any indication about what they are or what they do. Hmm. Uh, fingers crossed, I guess. Your head just explodes. Uh. Anna? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. But look, Ben. That bit there. That's the glowing bit. Those blue light bits seem to be glowing more now that it's disconnected, too. So, maybe if I try it now... Ah, Anna, that sounds good. About it glowing and everything. But I'm not so sure you should pick that up. It does seem rather... sparky, doesn't it? Hmm. Maybe there's something I can use... Sorry, I'm jumping ahead of the gun here. Ah, yes. I have to say, even after doing all that, even if I can pick it up, should I really be putting something like this on my head? Grandpa, I know you tell me not to ever do something as crazy as this. If it means getting back to him, though, I have to try. Here goes nothing, I suppose. Ascended. My head. I feel like my brain just turned upside down. Anna? Are you alright? Silence! Did it work? <laughs> kills the Anna? What was that light just then? None. Uh, you see. What are you doing in there, child? I was just. What do I say? Anna, don't you turn your back on me. I don't know what should I say, Teddy? up to in there, but remember this. I'm watching you. I can assure you, little girl, whatever you are up to, you will regret it. So, so much... Telekinesis won't work. I'm a really bad throw. And the old witch would surely No, there has The witch tell I don't really care about toy. That's it! If I can tamper with the speaker, 
maybe gently move the camera, then she might not be able to see or hear me escape. All right, here goes nothing. Uh-oh. That was a little more than I intended. Oh no, oh no, oh no! She's gonna be so mad at us, Anna. This time, Ben, you're very right about that. I think I see her now. She's coming, Anna, she's coming! It's too oh, late shit. to worry about her now. We have to get out of here, quick! Oh yes, Anna, your power! Hurry! Uh... Even if I... I think I'll try... The witch tells me... I don't really care about... No time for that! Damn! Find the doors open, she can escape. You can leave rooms by clicking the exit arrows. Hang on, now I gotta take Ben you with me. You did it, me. Anna! You did That's Ben, he's been here. He Alright, it's time to go, Ben. Um, do you need some help getting up? Oh no, 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 I can do this. Oh dear. That's it, Ben. You've got it. Say what you want. That bear I is terrifying. It. I really did. Okay. Okay, quick. We need to see if you can walk so we can get going. Oh, yes. Let me see. Well, there you go. You really did do it. All right, Grandpa. I'm coming. Time for that. No time for. Th ah! ah! Oh! <laughs> it's just a painting. What are you doing, Ben? I'm hiding. It's too scary down here. Ah! What now? <gasps> I can't look. I can't. Not now. great escape all right guys well we are going to actually call this one here uh, this is a delightful little game we're definitely gonna definitely gonna keep playing through it um ben, but we do it through the tutorial i'm sorry that didn't quite go the way i planned that's okay anna at least now the witch is locked out downstairs yeah i suppose so although now she's blocking the exit so now what do we do i i don't know all right, so we're gonna we're gonna end this one here. Uh, we will be back up to it uh, next time. Yes, uh, hopefully it has like an auto save mechanic. Hmm. Let's hope so. Um, no, it's a charming. This is a this is a really charming game. I really like it. Let me see. Hang on. Let me see. Let's get through this little dialogue here. Hang on. Oh, that was the end of the dialogue. Okay, because I kind of cut the music um, by clicking out. So uh, this has been Anna's. Qu this has been the first episode of Anna's Quest. Um, I think this game is charming. Uh, I really like it. Um, I'm surprisingly invested. Obviously, this was made for, you know, little kids. And I'm not one, but we're going to see how this goes anyway. We're going to have some fun with it. Uh, I got it in one of the bundles from the uh, creator of this. Uh, they, they created this game as well as a bunch of others. Not necessarily continuations of this game, but... Um, it was like a whole studio bundle that I got from Steam. No, I'm not trying to make excuses for why I'm playing a little kid's game, but it's fun. And it reminds me, again, I rem it reminds me of games I would have played as a child. And so it kind of has me has me invested and kind of has me with that, you know, childlike nature and stuff like that. Plus, I love, I mean, I like any of these puzzle escape games anyway. And um, although this one is more child, uh, more kid themed i have played ones that are a little bit more scary or different tones to it but we're gonna have fun with it anyway uh, but that, that's it for the first episode i'm probably gonna keep playing though and um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh don't worry we got other 
spoopier stuff coming along and uh, other other fun stuff for you guys. So thanks for chilling with Icy.